we're so gonna get stuck. Look at this snow, it's up to the mirror. Dude, we're so gonna get stuck. <laughs> Look at this. It's over three feet of snow. It's barely below the mirror. This doesn't help him turn to YouTube and drive. Look at that, it's a wall. <laughs> I don't know if you're making it. Look at those banks. All right, so here's my personal opinion on bee plows. But don't take my word for it because I don't know anything. Here it is, Western V. And this might grind some gears, so I gotta make this clear that I'm talking about this is for a guy that plows commercial and can have any plow that he wants. If you plow residential, it doesn't matter what you're plowing with, a straight blade, a V plow, Western wide out, snow power, they're all gonna get the job done. Any plow works good for residential, basically. When I, the guy I'm talking to here, it's a guy that plows a bunch of commercial, big wide open, plows everything, back drags, needs a push, needs to carry snow and can't afford any plow he wants. That's the guy I'm talking to. If you're just getting started, uh, just get whatever you can afford and eventually work your way up to getting what you want. <laughs> so let's start with the name. It's a V plow, so it V's. It goes back and it goes forward. It's all it does. It'll turn a windrow. So that means it does one thing good and that it's, it V's. It'll split down the middle. You've got the big bar in the middle. You can split open a road and that's about the only thing this plow does good. Um, everything else is, it's a jack of all trades master of none so say you want a back drag because you don't need to there's usually not a ton of back dragging but say you do you need to do some back dragging out of loading dock or something so here's a problem you have when you go to a back drag see how this cutting edge comes around and this blade is angled way forward so when you it cuts really good going forward because this edge kind of bites in you can see it just cuts right in okay well now when you take that backwards and you're angled like this this is all you do an edge like this that's angled like this is never going to cut backwards this is meant for cutting forward. It's not meant to do any back dragging. Therefore, if you ever go to do any back dragging, all you're doing is back smearing. That's all that happens. See how it has a chain lift? Uh, so it has zero down pressure. This goes down and then just the weight if it's on the ground. So when you hit hard packed snow or like say where the plow comes by at the end of the road, anything hard, it's only the weight of the plow cutting. So it's this plow tends just to go up and over. I know the new V plows have down pressure, which that helps, but it's still not going to be, you know, perfect. The good thing about a straight blade or like a wide out Anything that uh, the snow power, the edge is vertical. Cuts good forward, cuts good backwards. Now let's put it in scoop mode to see how much snow we can scoop. And so this is an 8.6. I know guys get 9.6 and wings and they're too wide to legally go on the road, but that's a whole nother topic. Everyone says, oh, my V plow with wings. Yeah, it's a little better, but it's still not ideal. So here's the problem when you are uh, you're doing a commercial, you need a scoop, okay? Commercial, you don't just wind roll the snow over back and forth because you can only wind roll the snow too so far until you have a giant bank and you can't get up over the bank and you can't move it. So a lot of commercial, we don't wind roll snow, we push snow. We start by the building, push it out in the pile, okay? So th this is a scoop mode. This pile is 8.6 when it's straight out, but when you scoop it, how it is now, you see when it's scooped, it's barely seven feet. It's about, I say 90 inches. Okay, then here's the other issue. This is a straight line in front of the plow. Look how much space we have here. If you count the square foot of like how much, how much space you have actually carry snow, that snow is only gonna fill into here, build up, and then come right over. See, all the way bead. So we, we, there's, there's no room here to carry any snow, even like a wide out, how it's flat. So the, the mole board is straight and then the wing comes out. There's like double the square foot that you can carry of space, if that makes sense, that you can carry the snow. So this thing, it builds up right away and just flows right out and makes another V. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. You start plowing snow, it makes a V out here, all the snow goes over. This, this plow doesn't carry any amount of snow, basically. The gist of it is they don't carry snow. Like a wide out or a straight blade with wings carry twice as much snow as this. But yeah, that's another thing. So they, they don't back drag super good. They don't carry much. Like if you're going a long, long parking lot, you scoop, you're not even gonna make a difference. Like you're gonna, so much snow is just basically wind rolling out each side. Like if you gotta carry a bunch of snow, this this plow isn't the one for you. Plow is absolutely amazing at, and that's Ving. It's just why it's called a V plow. You gotta plow, open a big road. You gotta plow to your fish house. This plow is perfect for you. But in Minnesota here, we get like one tenant storm a year, if that. So one event a year, this thing is the bee's knees. But other than that, if you're talking about overall, generally, if I'm have one plow, it's definitely not a V plow. Uh, it is pretty simple overall. There's not a ton of moving parts. This one has a spring, like live cutting edges, which are nice. Since only the way the plow is pushing down, if you hit anything, the edges will trip or it'll just bounce over. So right, I'll show you something else with this. So this was in V mode, as you can see. Not much in front. T truck tires, the snow, this, this thing. Well, that's an 8.6, that's the average size. 
but the snow, see it's falling right back in. I'm driving over it because even in 8.6 when it's V'd, it's not very, it's only by the same, you know, a little over seven feet. Well, that's as wide as my truck is. So if I were to plow this much, I would want, if I had 9.6, but then you get into an issue, even when it's V'd, it's almost too wide. Cause then it's like, you can't be over 8.6 wood on the road. So yeah, like, like a 9.6 would be a little bit better, but if you get an 8.6 V plow, which is standard, like I'm driving all over the snow, like this isn't, this isn't nothing. I didn't put a dent in this tiny little area. Realistically, probably 15 times to get anything done with the back plow or a F12 or 14 on the front. This would be 15 times versus four or five. And if you've never used a back plow or a 14 or F14 or F12, then you don't really know what I mean. But if you have, you know exactly what I mean, the difference it is. So here's a feed mode. Again, this is an 8.6 and you can see what's happened. It's built up and then you can see it starting to form here. Uh, and make another V of the snow will here it'll flow right over. So that, that right there is as much snow as you're gonna carry. That's, that's nothing. Look at this. So you can see when it's in scoop mode, it barely covers the tire tracks, just barely. That, that amount of snow, like this is nothing. That's like a skinny bucket. I mean, that's like, I didn't hardly make much of a pass. I didn't hardly clear much. And I didn't carry much either. It's, they don't hardly carry hardly anything. Half as amount of a, a wide out, I would say roughly is 40, 50% more. And like an F14 is at least double, triple that, at least. I know there's some of you diehard V-plug guys out, th out there. They got your undies in a bundy right now, but this is just my opinion. In the end, you gotta do what's right for you. We'll do what's right for us. Uh, but we're all here to be efficient, make money. A lot of plows cost similar amounts. So if you're gonna buy a new plow, might as well buy one that is gonna make you a lot more money. That's my opinion anyway. Uh, another valid point that every one of you is thinking right now that's used a V-plow before, is they stack. V-plows do stack good. This one has a chain lift. The plow can go a lot higher than what the what the cylinder will lift, if that makes sense. See like right here, see how it goes way up. When you scoop, like the, these, these things do stack, but they'll stack a couple feet higher than the truck. That's one thing I gotta give the V-plows. When they're, when they're scooped up like this with a tiny bit of snow that they're carrying, then they kind of push up good. Better than a straight blade or probably comparable, somewhat comparable to a wide out. So right here is the other giant issue with this plow. Um, anyone that has plowed any amount knows exactly what I'm talking about. So when you're coming around a corner, say, cause there's everywhere you go, every parking lot, there's a, there's a corner. Uh, not, they're all, not all 90s. There's a parking lot that we do. The road comes in to the main building and then it loops around like this and then it kind of comes back around. So there's a horseshoe. Well, basically with this plow, you can't plow that horseshoe. And here's why, cause when you come and swing, your plow is right here and your, and your tire's driving over this curb, see? I'm turning here, come like this. Look, my tires are two feet, look at that, foot and a half, two feet over. So say my, my plow's on the curb. Well, now I'm the, the, the back of the tire of the truck's hitting the curb. And in order to efficiently do that, the plow has to be out past the truck. Even with the 9.6, it's still not enough. Look at this, I'm, I'm, not even making, I'm not even making a sharp turn. Look at my tires, it's barely turned out. And I'm two feet over from where I plowed, see? I just came plowing up here and turned just a little bit. This ain't even a sharp corner at all. I can tell you in the truck how, how much of a degree of a turn it is. And I'm driving way over into here. So in order to efficiently do any kind of radius, your wing has to be a lot farther. That's where you need a wide out, you need a snow plower, you need a back plow, an eight, six, nine, six front plow. Really, for, this is front plow in general, especially V plow, it seems like, because with you, when you win round turn, it just, yeah, you can't even turn, you can't even, you can't even plow any bit of a radius. And you have circle loops like this on like every account where you're trying to make a radius, you can't even do it. Your, your back tire's hitting the curb, you're driving in the snow, or you plow and then you, you drive in this and then it pushes it all back in. I'll make the same radius with a back plow or a wider front plow. I'll show you. Okay, now this is the same 18 degree, 18 degree. Same, turning the wheel the exact same, basically one turn, 18 degree. This is with a back plate. This is 16 feet wide. The back moldboard's eight feet with a four foot wing. So you see here, I'm making the same turn. See how my truck tires are? turn in perfect, see where the wing is, and then you get me close. I'm gonna be three, four feet out. So now when I have a, a end like this, same entrance and come back around, I can, the truck's over here and the blade is right on this inside corner, sweeping it perfect. So now I can efficiently and actually plow some kind of radius. Like this thing, with this, it just ain't gonna happen. With this, all day long, easy peasy. Also, when I'm going along a building with this plow, see how this lines the mirror? It's right on the mirror. So that means if I'm plowing along a building, my mirror has to be basically on the building too. With a, with a, an F14, F12, Western Wide, it gets out farther, then then you don't have to have the mirror right on the building. So then now, like, just even with this back plow, like there's a, I'm, I'll never plow without a back plow. Yes, you still need a front plow, but there's so many benefits to a back plow or a wider front plow. That's just crazy. It's Everyone's used this forever and it's what everyone knows, but it's just, there's a much, much better way now. And that's with a Western Wide Out, Snow Power, F12, 14. 
and then any kind of back plow really. The thing is, say I want to push my banks back and there's a ditch like on the driveway. With this, I have to put the truck in the ditch in order to push the snow back farther. You know, in order to put the snow back off the edge of the driveway, the truck's got to be in the ditch too because this plow is, you know, doesn't hardly stick past the edge of the truck. With this, I can have the truck on the driveway where it belongs, stick the wing out and then push it way back. So that's another benefit. So like I said earlier, don't take my opinion, don't take my word for it because I don't know nothing. But here's my opinion on the perfect setup for plowing just about anything uh, for if you're plowing with a truck. A V plow on the front, believe it or not, because when you have your back plow, the V plow V, it stays closer to the truck and then you can stack and stuff. So this setup right here, if we're plowing commercial, residential, it works good for everything. Back blade on the back, uh, snow power, short iron, Eblings are okay. The, there's a new Boss one, the 180Z. There's a new one, Defiance, that one actually windrows. So if I was to start all over again and buy another plow truck, I would get a Chevy truck. Uh, single cab's ideal, extended cab, crew cab, doesn't matter. V plow and, a back, and a, at least a 16 foot back blade. This is obviously a whole nother can of worms, but check out the difference on how much snow the back blade can move versus the front so in the same distance past i don't know 100 yards with about four inches of snow here's a embarrassing amount of snow that the the, the v-plow move scoop so here it is there little pile here's the pass that i made and then here's with the with the back plow so 16 feet wide so my wing was my wing was halfway over this already plowed so there'd be a lot more snow here um if i if i wasn't halfway in this pass uh but look at that look at the, the amount of snow this is that was with the plow all the way up so realistically this, all the snow well you can see it's all piled up here look how much snow this is <laughs> you can't even you can't even compare this to that this right here is literally 15 times 15 times the amount of snow because that box see how how it's boxed so the square footage that that will carry versus like a front plow it's just insane like look at this if you're getting paid by the job you're moving this one past the guy with the back, back blade is moving this and you wonder why you get to the end of the snow you're and you don't have any money or you can't afford a new truck or a new plow that's why, because you're only moving that, and other guy's moving this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You can't even compare the two. I mean, look at that. Right there is a difference. So that's my opinion. The perfect, the perfect setup right there for residential, commercial, whatever you got to do. You can split stuff open. You can stack. You can carry a bunch. It's there's so many benefits to it to set up like this. And all you guys that know me know that I've been plowing about snow about 10 years. We have I think a dozen truck plows overall, 15 maybe. We have straight blade, we have wide out, we have V plow, we have you know F12, F14. We have all basically all that makes models of truck plows. I've used all these for years. I've plowed residential, I've plowed commercial, I've plowed industrial, we plow gas stations, restaurants, hotels, we plow everything, and we do a decent amount. We have about 30 guys plowing, so that's uh just we don't i don't have 40 years experience but i have 10 years experience of trying to be the best trying to be the quickest always looking for a better way so that's uh that's what we found 16 foot back blade eight six nine foot nine six v plow and that's the perfect setup if you're gonna have one plow in your truck on the front and you're plowing commercial and you're using a v plow you're you're not getting anything done you're what, what takes you 10 passes another guy's getting done in four or five passes with a back plow with uh, even a wide out it's better um uh, f12 f14 now you're actually moving some snow it's crazy and if some of you guys aren't gonna believe me other guys that guys that have the f12 14 that the wide outs like you know exactly what i mean you know you, you know you know the difference so yeah, that's that all right guys it's snow's coming down we got six inches the last couple days been plowing a ton uh it's just getting like eight inches ten inches tonight so i gotta go do a couple things and then get ready to go out tonight and move a bunch more snow so i'm waiting for the guy that like lives on the north pole that gets like 50 inches of snow every other day and he's like no if he plows the only way to go because yeah if you get a million feet of snow and you're always breaking stuff open like this like drifted in and all you're doing is breaking stuff open all the time definitely the plow for you but plow commercial carrying snow no bueno bueno thing to note about your v-plow is if you plan on having a truck a long time your truck's gonna last longer because you're really not doing much you're just scratching the surface you're not moving a ton a ton of snow so like an f12 f14 you're actually moving four times five times more snow each push or with the back blade so you are gonna wear you're working the truck harder which of course over time will put more wear on the truck but I would say if you plan to get a new truck every five, 10 years, doesn't really matter. If you're like one of those guys that wants to have a truck for 25 years, then I would say get a V-plow. Of course, if you're doing more, you're gonna wear on the truck more. Um, so just 
nature of the beast. Me personally, I'd prefer to get much more done, get a new truck more often, and uh, make more money. So that's that's how we roll. Just for kicks, let's see what back drags better. Western 8.6 V plow or Cat D3. There's two passes. See, pretty good smear. Nowhere near the ground. That's like two, three inches up. All right, let's see how the old D3 does. And then, see, going forward, but this will cut right in. Yeah, there is a difference. A lot closer to pavement. Still a pretty good smear going forward, but look, there's a V pile back drag. Not very good. All right. I'm back to get the real snow plow. So, here's the difference. See all the black top? Tie within. Probably on a bad day, 16th of an inch. Right here is about nothing. Here is about eh, 16, maybe an eighth, versus that's probably like two inches. So if you want to get a really good back drag, need a D3. If you want to leave two inches, back drag with a V plow. Like I said earlier, do what's right for you and your business, and we'll do what's right for us in our business. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see more of in the future. We got another maybe a month or two of winter here in Minnesota. Then we'll be back to throwing dirt and boulders. And well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, definitely going to ground some gears with this one, but is what it is. That's my honest opinion. Uh, but let me know which last video in the comments below. Remember, it is what you make it to be.